That's his sound. Music here. Intro video, go! Teacher, leave those kids alone. My name is Matt Post. Well, hi. I'm a 12th grader, the student member of the board for Montgomery County. And I believe that as students, we need to make a few things clear. No more midterms. No more midterms. No tests. To start, we will not sit in classrooms with armed teachers. You'll do whatever the law says you will do. We refuse to learn in fear. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Have you ever heard of bullies? We reject turning our schools into prisons. Punks are running wild in the street and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. Well, I'm totally for it. You should just be there for the 10 to 20 years and and, and that's it. <laughs> We will accept nothing less than comprehensive gun control. Uh, we had to accept, <laughs> like, 12-year-old books when I was in high school, so... Yeah. Uh, good luck. And if it's what it takes, we will shame our national policymakers into protecting us. Yes, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me... <clears throat> well, it... That tactic is kind of shady, kind of not not really a, a good way to go, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Track history is kind of hit and miss with that method, but uh, I mean, go, go for it. The lawmakers who fail to support us, those who look for every answer to our nation's gun problem, but the guns themselves will be complicit in every death that comes after. <sighs> complicit in the deaths. Um, it's, you're blaming people other than, other than the, the crazy fucks who do the violence. Uh, I, whatever. I go, uh, yeah, that's not flawed thinking. I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. To every politician sitting in Congress working behind us, you get to decide who lives. No. No. You're going a little far. A little far with this, but. When national policymakers. When national policymakers value the blood money of the NRA over the lives of children, you know we have a moral problem in the halls of Congress. It'd be a shame if somebody pointed out that logical fallacy. Oh, wait. And when this is doomed to happen again, when in the coming weeks and months, more of my peers will be slaughtered in their own classrooms, when their deaths will be dismissed as collateral, you know we have a moral problem in this country. You have people doing walkout uh, gatherings, protests. Who, who's dismissing this sort of event as collateral? Is that a straw man argument? So let's make one last thing clear. Their right to own an assault rifle does not outweigh our right to live. Yes. These two events are not mutually exclusive. They can and do exist at the same time without conflict. The adults have failed us. This is in our hands now. And if any elected official gets in our way, we will vote them out and replace them ourselves. Oh, so you know how voting works. Excellent. Uh, my 
my only qualm, and I'm just doing this to be an asshole, is that essentially you turn 18, you get the right to vote. You're an adult. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I agree. Enough is a fuck enough. Yeah. And in other news, according to stupidnews.com, <clears throat> this article from March 5th, 2018 by J.D. Hayes. Stupid notes. <clears throat> Our told that Sassian in buys industrial washing machine to spin <laughs> the news. That's the, head, the headline tells it all. That's pretty much the story. Somebody didn't understand satire, I guess. At least according to stupidnews.com, whatever. Wait, stupid.news, man. Sorry, it's 3.15 in the morning and I'm pretty drunk, so there's a picture around this. There you go. Dear Crispy Lord, we give thanks for your essence. For thy beautiful fragrance is a promise of relenting hunger. Thy nourishment we do take with watering mouths, for it gives us the energy to endure. Bless us and carry us well, as we go about our lives without judgment against those who do not partake in the masterpieces you call breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bacon.